Hey everybody, this is your girl Dolores and um, it's the holidays and um, everybody's trying to make some money and everybody's on their hustle. So here goes some nuggets. I call them golden nuggets. Catch them while you can, okay? How you can come up with your hustle with TLC, okay? And everything that I'm saying, it has already been tested. It has already been marketing. So it's nothing new. Okay, it's just helping you to brainstorm. Okay, and brainstorm actually means masterminding. Okay, so you want to sell some tea and you want to sell your products with TLC. Easy, nothing to it. If you want to sell products and you want to be a representative of TLC, you can get your sign made. Do just like the Avon lady do, the Mary Kay lady do. Go get your sign created. And get you a sign and put in your front yard. Okay? And you don't have to say sold here. All you got to do is put your telephone number. And I would highly recommend you to get a Google Voice. But if you want to use your cell phone number, go ahead. Or go get your Google Voice number. Okay? And you can get the sign placed in front of your yard. And then you also can go get magnets made. And you can get the car magnet that when you go someplace, you got a magnet on the side of your car. Or, make it a little bit more professional looking, go get your back window on your car decal about TLC. And you're going to get you some business, okay? Get your car decal, get your little lose five pounds in five days, talk about getting healthy and wealthy, and make sure that there's a telephone number on there, okay? Telephone number means they're getting in touch with you. I don't recommend you to put your website because most people go to the website and that's it. You don't want to put a lot on it, but you want to get enough out there. So if you want to do a website in your telephone number, that's all they need. Your name is not important, okay? Same thing about uh, you can go do flyers. Flyers and business cards. Business cards, yeah, they're small, but business cards is easier to pack, okay? And you can take these business cards, you all. You can start seeing people with their windows cracked and you can start slipping your bliss cards and your business cards through their windows you can actually put the bliss cards on their windshield okay matter of fact if you can afford it you probably can pay somebody about 20 bucks and they probably could get out about from two to five hundred dollar bliss cards in a parking lot okay so with these bliss cards and business cards, take your business cards, you probably can put them. I normally take them and tape them to the mirror in the bathrooms of the restaurants, clubs, businesses. That's a few. Even the grocery stores. No, you don't have to go to the bathroom, but everybody else needs to go. You know, even take your business cards or your bliss cards. Tape them to the back of the door inside the stall. Don't tape them on the side of the stall. Don't tape them behind the commode. Tape it behind the door so when they sit down and lock the door, bam! There go your bliss cards or your business card. Okay? So, then you can also take one of your bliss cards... It's like valet parking, okay? Take your bliss card and put it down in your dashboard or your car, right in the front. So when people walk by your car, they see your bliss card, it's going to catch somebody's attention. Either they're going to immediately, because y'all know phones are, are, are the business, okay? Somebody's going to immediately snapshot that. And either they're going to snapshot it to use it for their beneficial information, or they're going to snapshot it and share it all over social media. Okay? So those are a few things that you can do. Okay? Now you can start checking out events. It's getting to be the Christmas day. I see people setting up tents on the corners. I see people with tents selling dresses. I see people with tents selling purses. I see people with tents selling Valentine. I see people with tents selling for Mother's Day. Hmm. Why you can't have a tent selling for TLC? Okay? That way you got a tent set up. You got a few products. And that don't mean you put your product products out there. You actually should be keeping some displays so that you can have some displays out there. And boom, you can get people to stop by. Also, let's talk about 
um, Walgreens, CVS, Kroger's, HEB. Pick up the phone and call the manager, the store manager. Tell them who you are and what you like to do. And get them to give you a weekend or a Saturday where you can put you a table and stand out in front to sell the products. Okay? Also, get with private business owners. You know, people that sell lingerie, uh, those that have wedding beauties for formals and dresses. Um, let's talk about people with uh, individual small private businesses. I mean, restaurants, you know, friends. It's a win-win situation. And see if you could come there and set up a little bitty prop set up or stand outside or something that you can promote your business. Also, you got the flea market that you can reserve a spot. Especially on Saturday. Saturday is a high traffic day. Now it's the holidays. You can actually start thinking about the mall. You can actually rent a booth for the weekend. And where I'm at, I did check it out. And a booth normally runs you for the holidays. For Saturday and Sunday runs you $750 a week. And if it wasn't for the holiday, it will run you $500 a weekend. I'm sorry, $750 for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, $500 if it wasn't the holidays for a weekend. Booth rental, okay? And that way you can have products, you can have a little spot, you can put you up some blow-up displays and everything, get some poster boards, get some flyers, get some proper boards and everything. They got a little slide cabinet so that you can keep your products in the cabinets, and there you can sell as well at the mall, Okay? So, here go opportunities to make money and flip your money, okay? And when you order your products, order your products as a first-time customer off of your website. You should have an IBO number as an IBO representative, and you should have your own personal IBO number as a customer. Because you should have a PayPal account set up, and you can collect money. Matter of fact, while you're doing all this, you should also have an online store set up as well through your PayPal account or Square account where you can still collect money, okay? Because you're going to run across customers that want you to place an order. You can collect their money and then you can order it. They can't prove it, okay? So this is a win-win situation for you and your customers, okay? So, here is a way to make money for the holidays with TLC. Get out here and market. And also, there's another way that you can make money too, you know. Instead of just leaving your products at the nail shop, why don't you get with a beauty salon person, someone that does hair. They always have a booth for rent. Why not you rent a booth, but instead of you doing hair, you rent a booth or rent from her or however so that you can be there a particular day, once a week, that you can promote TLC and you can actually be there doing sampling. It's like having a tea party, you know. Maybe the day that they do their specials. Most people do specials through the weekdays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays. They have a special for getting your sewing done, for getting your hair cut, clip, whatever. That's an opportunity for you to also be there to talk about your products, okay? Everybody, this is Dolores, and I hope that this has helped you. There is a way to make money. Making your money, flipping your money, earn your money so that you can make more money on top of the money without having to spend your own money.